Yes, yes! What a great victory! The return of the wallpaper! And by no coincidence, we beat Stoke, who we get nothing from. I think we've only beaten once at Stoke. God, 20, 30 years. It's, it's an unhappy hunting ground. Unhappy. And on the 5th of April, Easter Monday, we've only got to beat them 2 1. But it, it wasn't like that from the start. No, no, no. Millwall couldn't make it as simple as that. No, they have to do it the fucking hard way, as always. With, with the lineup that he picked, I wasn't happy. Oh my God, I was not happy. You put Pierce and Murray Wallace in a back three with Cooper and you are asking for trouble. Asking for trouble all day long. And how we never come unstuck in the first half, apart from what well, we did, the, the goal we let in, how we never come unstuck before that, is God, God only knows. God only knows. To be fair, in the second half, Wallace and uh, Pierce, yeah, he, I think Pierce is confidence. If he goes his way and it's it's looking good, he grows into the game. Makes a couple of rickets early doors, it's game over. He's always susceptible to a penalty. But the Bart man, he's going to be un he's going to feel very very aggrieved to the goal we let in because it shouldn't even have got to him. I mean, Pierce has somehow let that go when he and he's come in and tapped it in past Bart, and he still could have saved it. Possibly, but the shot shouldn't have been there because trust me, if that one doesn't go in, Stoke ain't going to score in a month of Sundays. It ain't going to happen. It was very Millwall esque up front for them. It was shocking. Millwall, not a very good first half. He's done the right thing early doors in the cent in the so that Kenneth Saw didn't look fit, looked out of sorts. He's, put, he's come on with Corn Beef, and Corn Beef for me is the man of the match. Corn Beef all day long. He, he stopped Stoke from having so much space in front of our back three, and he allowed us to play a bit of football, pressing, going forward. He puts the challenges in. He's such a great player doing that. I would have started with Evans in the back three, another put corn beef on from the off. Pierce would have been on the bench. McNamara, everyone was having a shot in first half. They couldn't, even Mitchell, they, they couldn't find the five-yard balls. We created a lot of our own downfalls. I mean, I don't know what everyone else thinks, but we all created their own problems in the first half. But our goal... We've got the most sloppiest of goals and probably our first attack. But you know what? It's a goal's goal. You've got to put it in the back of the onion bag. And we did. So, end of story. Murray Wallace, he's done fantastic there. You know, he loose ball, bang, he's put it away. Cooper calls a nuisance of himself. It was... Um, I thought we were going to go 1-0 at half-time. It was 1-0. Come out, corn beef comes on. We start playing well. We start pushing the ball forward into the channels. We start breaking up their passage of play. They didn't have much of the ball. We, we 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 were controlling things without actually doing much, and the goal. I mean, the Jedi has done fantastic there. It's a bad slip at the back, and it? it's a bad bad slip. But the Jedi has squared that to uh, Mason Bennett. Um, I thought that had a very good, had a, not a bad game today. He's got a goal there. Well done, Bennett, and it's the winner. We were never never in trouble of losing that game, even of them equalising. But we were doing our best to throw it away giving silly little free kicks in and around the box where then we know Stoke balls into the box, they're going to create chances. And what are we doing? We're giving away balls on the edge of the box to be thrown into the box. But we held on. And I think I think what we, we could have gone for the jugular. I think we should, we should have gone for the jugular. We sucked back a bit too much in the last 10 minutes of the game. People are talking playoffs. I think they're, I think they're off their, off their nuts. You know, we ain't got a Danny Larue. We, ain't, we are not going to make the playoffs in a month of Sundays. And um, anyone that thinks we're going to do that is off their head. What we look, do, are starting to do is look to build for next year. What can we add? What is our best team going into the end of the season? So when we get into the summer, the scouts start scouting for a, a striker, a creative midfielder. We bring in our best side and plan together towards the end. Therefore, we build on. A, we've got a foundation, whereas we can put some um, new faces in in the summer that will strengthen the side. And, we, and, and if we strengthen that side, who is to say that we can't challenge the top six next year? Is Gary Rout the right, ma right manager? Jury's out. I'm unsure. He's on a good run of form, but it's not pretty what he's doing. And we do need to add faces to it, 100%. We're getting away with a lot at the moment. Bartman, last ditch defending. But we're bringing it all on ourselves. Bringing it all on ourselves. We've got uh, Brentford, Bournemouth, 
and Watford in the next three games. These are tough, tough games. You know what? If you get nine points right now, I'm happy. I ain't going to be in the playoffs, but I'm happy. Onwards to the next game. Going to really enjoy it tonight now. Hopefully West Ham get beat. Go, you Lions!